Hi everyone, it's Penny here today with my Sunday vlog. I have a very delicate situation with my lighting right now for my camera. And if I accidentally touch the wire to the left, everything's gonna fall out of place immediately. But I was being stubborn and I wanted to sit in this specific spot, which makes it more difficult for me to find a way to plug my lamp in. Um, long story, and you probably don't care too much. Um, another thing, first things first, if you watched my vlog last Sunday, you know that I got a little bit of a black eye from sword fighting, and it's not completely covered with makeup right now, so you can still kind of see. So if you're wondering what the heck is wrong with my eye, that is what happened to it. And I know if I were watching this video and someone had like some pinkness around their eye, I'd be like, whoa, wait a minute. And I'd be completely distracted from everything else in the video until I managed to uncover the pinkness of the eye. Um, but maybe I'm more investigative than most people. Someone tonight at a bar actually asked me if I was a private investigator. And I, I laughed at them. Granted, I was, I was telling a weird story about a thong that was in my pocket and me trying to figure out why there was a thong in my pocket. And I was joking, saying that I was investigating it and this guy apparently didn't get the joke. Um, but the other two people I was talking to did. So it's not my fault, I would say. That one's on him. <laughs> um, so let me very carefully reach over here for my chamomile tea as I try not to mess up my wiring situation. So Jupiter is retrograde in Scorpio. Scorpio is the digger of the zodiac, the uncoverer, the unearther, the archaeologist. Um, Scorpio loves a good mystery, which is probably why I make believing that I'm a private investigator, apparently, in investigating crimes, crimes that were probably committed by me, crimes, and why well, there's a thong in my pocket. <laughs> um, but Scorpio is also a sign of cycles. So it has a lot to do with cause and effect, like, oh, this, this happened back in my past, and then this is why I'm acting this way now. And I think a lot of people right now are looking more into their own past and some of us are looking into other people's past as well because we can't mind our own freaking business. Scorpio is a sign that doesn't know how to mind its own business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Scorpios um, and lunar Scorpios too, especially psychoanalyzing people. So a lot of that has been going on for me as well as for other people. And I feel like the thing that I'm really doing that I probably shouldn't be doing is that I really want to figure out why other people are so damaged because I'm only 25 years old. I have only had like 25 years to accumulate damage. And some people are a little bit older than me. Um, so I have some things to investigate on their part. Private investigator right here. Mm-hmm. Astrologer slash private investigator. Bet you didn't know Penny was a PI. This is a joke. I hope no one actually takes this seriously. Like, oh my gosh, Penny, I need to hire you to investigate a crime. Is there a certification to become a PI? Because if there's not, then I might as well do it. But if there's a certification exam, we're gonna have to have a little talk about certification exams, okay? Because there are very few things in life that I am certified to do. CPR is one of them, but uh, that one's actually not too difficult to get. Uh, every, everyone has one of those. Mm. This is good tea. I made it with um, that protein blend of like nut and pea milk, if you read the ingredients, it has peas in it, like the green pea vegetable. That's the kind of pea I mean, just to clarify. And it's a, it's a higher protein blend, I guess, than your typical nut milk. And I also put honey in it, and it's chamomile tea. And wow, I'm just a neurotic health freak. I had a Long Island iced tea a few hours ago, if not more than a few hours ago. I'm not actually drunk right now, I'm just weird. I promise you.
<laughs> I think I started to get a little more comfortable on camera, um, considering I've been doing a, a few more of these vlogs and I'm not just focusing on, oh, I'm trying to sound intelligent and I'm trying to tell you everything I know about astrology and about numerology and I'm just so smart and so wise. And um, one thing I realized not too long ago is that a lot of times people actually like me better if I let my guard down just a little bit, at least just a little bit, and I stop trying to be perfect because we all know I'm not perfect but um so Virgo rising there's like more pressure to like try and be perfect like oh I gotta make sure there's nothing in my teeth and my all my hairs are in place all my each individual strands of hair need to be in place and everything um and my makeup needs to be perfectly even like if I'm not 100% symmetrical that's the end of the world so there's that, and then also being a Leo, I'm very proud, and I don't want to like show anyone my weaknesses or show anyone when I fail or whatever, unless it's dramatic and I can be dramatic about it and completely ridiculous and maybe even make fun of myself a little bit and just have other people point and laugh at me because that's always fun. I just love humiliating and embarrassing myself, which is part of the reason why I didn't delete the videos I uploaded when I was like 13 they're on there and some of you might have seen them and yes they are embarrassing but that's also why I keep them to embarrass myself and remind myself of where I come from <laughs> I come from my own body that I've been in for many years <laughs> well that's technically not true I came from someone else's body but someone came from my body too it's like it's like those eggs that there's another egg and another egg and another egg. That's just so true about life. There's always another egg deeper in there. I'm getting very off topic. I do have ADHD, in case you didn't already know that. What was I even talking about? Something about tea, something about being a private investigator, something about... Oh, and I'm a lunar Capricorn, as you hopefully know by now, and lunar Capricorns just have too much control over their emotions and they also don't like to be vulnerable. So, I don't know like what I really wanna say right now because I feel like this week has been dramatic for a lot of people. Um, that whole Saturn conjunct Mars and Capricorn and then the moon joining up with that and then it being square some of our planets that are in Aries right now I feel like a lot of for a lot of people that just like sprung something on them like oh this is urgent you need to take care of this now Saturn has been building up this problem for you and now all of a sudden it becomes an emergency because Aries thinks everything is an emergency um and for me, that's actually that I almost lost my vehicle and I had to go and get that taken care of. And I didn't sleep for like two days because it was like that urgent and I had that much stuff to do in regards to trying to keep my vehicle. And then I also had to stop for some other things as well along the way. And there was a thong in my pocket, so I had to... Why is there a thong in my pocket? No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I, I feel like things have been really emotionally difficult for me lately because uh, part of it's that I moved and I don't really have any close friends here. And, you know, in Texas, I do believe that there's people there who love me and who care about me and value me. Um, even though I, I guess there's always been parts of me that have felt kind of lost you know I grew up without really having a lot of friends I didn't have a good relationship with my parents and I've always been lost to some extent um, but that I at least felt like there were people who had my back and stuff in Texas and here I definitely don't have that yet and I'm going through the process of feeling like I don't fit in perhaps even more extreme and I'm just kind of being reminded of that awful feeling that I'm just like on the fringes of society and I'm just distant from everyone else and I can't actually connect and I am I'm different in ways that I can't even explain you know it's not even just like it's not even just the things that I can point out like the fact that 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm religiously and spiritually different. It's not even just that I dress different. It's not any of those things alone. It's just kind of, I don't think the same way. I don't feel the same way about things. I don't value the same things that they value. Um, and I mean, one of the big things is I have not really wanted to be in a romantic relationship for a long time probably just because I feel like my heart's too damaged for me to actually be able to do that and to want to put that level of investment and trust in someone again. Um, so, you know, I, I do some like casual dating and stuff like that, but then it seems like everyone else values relationships so much and they're like, oh, well, basically like if, if you're not going to marry me, then I don't really give a shit about you because I'm just like, I'm just looking for someone to spend the rest of my life with. Um, and I'm not just saying that I feel like the people I date are like all oh, looking for a wife because that's not really what I'm getting at. I'm also getting at um, having friendships with people, you know, whether they're in a relationship or looking for a relationship, that's pretty much always going to take priority for them over their friendships and it's it's just hard to like have friends and then like see that you know your friends aren't talking to you because they're dating someone and yeah so I think that's another thing that's been contributing to my loneliness and I just I have I, I feel like sometimes I get to this point in life and I'm sure maybe you've experienced this as well, where kind of everything I could possibly think about becomes a source of pain. Like right now thinking about my friends is a source of pain because I don't feel like I have any here. Thinking about um, my, my college, my schoolwork is a source of pain because I'm about to finish college and I have a lot of anxiety about where exactly that's going to go and whether or not I'm going to be successful thinking about like the astrology thing can be a source of pain as well because I'm not as successful with that as I want to be and you know I just I feel all around kind of mediocre to be honest I mean I think I give good readings and I usually get really good feedback about the readings I do um, but in terms of being on YouTube, I know I'm just not the most entertaining and I don't have like the most clickbaity content and, um, you know, other people just seem like they've kind of breezed through it. And for me, it's, it's always been hard work and I'm just always trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong. And then there's the audition last week, which has become a very intense source of pain because I didn't get the part. Um, and I don't really know why I didn't get the part and what I could have done better just yet. Um, and thinking about martial arts right now is a source of pain because I would really like to be doing it, but I was trying to get other things in my life in order and trying to make sure my finances are taken care of before I start paying for a subscription again. And thinking about my daughter is a source of pain right now because I feel bad for her a lot of times. I just feel like I'm not enough for her. She deserves better. I wish I was better and I wish I wasn't like moping about my own problems right now and that I was like the world's most amazing mom. She still tells me I'm the best mom ever, but she's probably just being nice, right? Um, and then of course thinking about my my past relationships is a source of pain thinking about my family is a source of pain um right now it's just kind of like everything hurts and there's no place i can turn to relieve the pain really and i mean i, I will say like getting getting immersed in stuff and like doing readings for other people i would say that's something that actually relieves my pain for me you know it takes me out of my own life and puts me in a position where I'm thinking about someone else. Um, but I just, I wish I had more. And another thing is I, I'm a very hardworking person. Like anyone who knows me in person will talk about how hard Penny works and like all the, the crazy amount of effort they've seen me put into things. Um, and I tend to really care about what I'm doing, but I don't have a lot to show for it. I really don't and it feels it always feels like 
nothing I do ever actually gets me anywhere. I tend to feel like this big failure and I'm always going uphill and I just have to, my legs just have to keep getting stronger and I have to keep going up faster and keep trying. Um, but I do and I, I get stronger and I think maybe on Facebook or something just a while ago, I posted something about feeling like I was on a hamster wheel my whole life and now I finally realized I'm getting somewhere and it's like, ah, that was a delusion. Actually probably not going anywhere because aside from the fact that I didn't get this part I wanted in the play I auditioned for, um, I also, you know, I'm about to finish college and I'm seeing that despite how hard I worked in college, I'm getting offered like jobs for $9 an hour. I was making $11.50 an hour before getting my degree. Why am I going to work for $9 an hour? You think I paid for this like expensive $30,000 college to get $9 an hour? No, I didn't. Um, and then there's a certification exam I have to take after college as well. So there's like college and there's a certification exam. And I only have a very limited amount of information about this certification exam right now, but my book said that only 700 people in the United States have this certification. And I'm kind of like, wow, why do only 700 people have this certification? And I feel like I probably should have tried to um, research the career field I was trying to get into a little bit more before signing up for the college course and working so hard at it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of why that's become another source of pain. Anyway, this, this really turned into a, a lot of complaining and stuff. I, I actually kind of hope you clicked off the video by now so you didn't have to see this. Um, but if you didn't and you're still watching, you know what? Thank you for caring. Um, you must be a very either considerate or curious person. And I'm just going to try to fix myself and fix my problems. And I'm probably going to go do push-ups right now, even though it's 4 a.m. Because I'm pretty sure if I did push-ups, that would solve at least some of my problems. <laughs> just can't think of what else to do right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I, as I said, I had a lot going on right now, uh, but I'm hoping to get the letter L video up soon. I'm still uploading the seduction secret videos. I had to skip over Venus and Virgo, even though I said it would be uploaded in that specific order, um, because I need to record something extra to include in Venus and Virgo, because I was lacking a little bit of self-awareness in my discussion of my own Venus placement and how one should go about seducing me. Yeah, I, I lacked just a little bit of self-awareness. So there's something I want to add and sort of correct myself on for that video. Um, but anyway, yeah, I hope you're enjoying my content. Let me know. Let me know if there's anything I could do better or anything you want to see or if you just want to complain at me randomly and then I'll complain back to you and we'll both talk about how unfair everything <laughs> supposedly is. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying your weekend.